For over 5,000 years, the wheel has ruled our roads, turning, grinding, and gripping the earth beneath. But what if the wheel was no longer needed? What if cars could rise above friction, float without fuel, and glide silently through cities of the future? Across the globe, scientists and engineers are racing to make that dream a reality. Hovering cars, once pure science fiction, are lifting off, and it could change everything we know about transportation. To understand why hovering cars are such a breakthrough, we have to look back. The wheel, one of humanity's oldest inventions, first appeared around 3,500 BC. From ox-drawn carts to steam-powered engines, it revolutionized trade, warfare, and civilization itself. In the 20th century, the combustion engine took over. Roads were paved, cities expanded, and the world moved faster than ever before. But with speed came congestion, emissions, accidents. The wheel had taken us far, but it also trapped us in a system of friction and inefficiency. Then came electric vehicles, a cleaner step forward, but still tied to the ground and to the limits of contact. Now, a new chapter begins, one where the car is no longer bound to road, but guided by air, magnetism, and innovation. So, how exactly can a vehicle hover? No tires, no road grip, just suspension above the ground. At the heart of hovering prototypes is magnetic levitation, a system that uses powerful magnetic fields to lift and propel objects without touching the surface. When two magnets of the same polarity face each other, they repel, strong enough and that repulsion can counter gravity. Now scale that up with superconductors cooled near absolute zero, creating stable levitating states. Another method, air propulsion, ducted fans like the ones in drones or hovercrafts, force air downward to lift a vehicle up. Each approach comes with trade-offs, but all of them points to one future, a car that never touches the road. Hover cars might sound like sci-fi, but the first prototypes are already floating. In 2022, Chinese engineers stunned the world by testing a levitating car on a modified highway. Japan and Germany have led magnetic levitation train development for decades. These superfast trains reach over 600 kilometers per hour. So why not use that same tech for cars? Other companies are taking different paths. Xpeng Aerot has created a car that transforms into a vertical takeoff aircraft with foldable rotors and drone-like controls. Even luxury brands like Cadillac and Rolls-Royce are exploring personal flying vehicles. The race is on, engineers around the globe are chasing one goal to lift the car off the ground. Hovering cars aren't flying cars, not exactly. They both rise above the ground, but they do it in very different ways. Hover cars use magnetic levitation or air cushion lift to float just above the surface. Flying cars on the other hand need full vertical lift, rotors, wings, or jet propulsion to rise and stay airborne. The result, flying cars can soar over buildings and landscapes, but they're closer to aircraft than automobiles. Hover cars aim to stay close to the ground, avoiding traffic, bumps, and friction. Flying cars require strict aviation rules, training, and large energy bursts for takeoff. Hover cars, in theory, could be as easy to drive as today's electric vehicles. So, while both look futuristic, their purpose, design, and practicality are worlds apart. Hover cars aren't just about lifting vehicles. They demand a complete rethinking of the roads. For magnetic levitation to work, roads may need embedded conductive tracks similar to high-speed trains, but on a massive urban scale. These smart roads would guide, power, and communicate with each hovering vehicle in real time. Wireless charging could be embedded into the roadbed, transmitting energy as the car glides above. Cities would need to redesign lanes, parking, intersections, even buildings. There's also digital infrastructure 5G and satellite positioning, ensuring every vehicle knows exactly where it is and how close others are. Where the road isn't just pavement, it's intelligent, interactive, and alive. The dream of hovering cars is thrilling, but with every leap forward comes new dangers. How do you protect pedestrians? Hovering systems require constant calibration. That's why autonomy becomes essential. It must detect obstacles, calculate flight paths, and avoid collisions better than any human ever could. 
then there's regulation. Hover cars blur the line between road and air. And what about insurance, privacy, and cybersecurity? A hacked hover car isn't just a stolen vehicle, it's a weapon. Finally, there's the human question. Who gets to hover? Will it be a luxury for the wealthy or a revolution for all? It's 2050. The streets below are quieter, cleaner. The hum of tires has been replaced by the whisper of lift fields. In this world, your car doesn't roll out of the driveway, it glides. Smart roads pulse with energy. Data streams guide your route before you even sit down. Traffic jams, a thing of the past. You rise above the pavement. Your commute becomes flight. Parking lots no longer stretch for miles. Vehicles lower themselves onto balconies, rooftops, charging pads. Cities breathe differently now, and as the sun sets, the highways glow. Not roads anymore, but streams of motion. This is more than transportation, it's transformation. It all looks perfect, but the road to hover cars isn't smooth. The first challenge, energy. Hovering, even for a second, demands constant power. Whether from magnetic repulsion or active air thrust, staying off the ground burns energy fast. Then there's infrastructure. Our cities weren't built for this. Replacing millions of kilometers of roadway with embedded tech. Not cheap, not quick. Add to that cost, the earliest models will be expensive, out of reach for most people. And finally, trust. Will people feel safe floating above traffic? Will they let AI systems control their motion in the air? Hover cars promise a revolution, but every revolution faces resistance before it becomes reality. What if the wheel is just the beginning of a bigger story? For millennia, we moved by dragging, rolling, pushing against the earth, but now we have a chance to rise above it. Hovering cars are more than machines. They are a symbol of efficiency, of elegance, of evolution. They ask us to dream bigger, to build smarter cities, to leave behind the noise, the smoke, the friction of the past. But that future is not guaranteed. It depends on science, on policy, on ethics, and on imagination. What if this isn't just about transportation? What if this is about how we live, how we move together, how we rise together? The whole changed the world once. Maybe it's time to let it go.